In this video, we will be introducing and setting up the monitoring screen for the Rover Elite Charge Controllers or RMS RVRE. The RMS RVRE is for new or existing systems using the Rover Elite Charge Controller. The RMS RVRE is a high precision meter featuring a backlit display and four key input buttons for easy navigation. It is shipped with a 16.4 foot RJ45 communication cable, M3 mounting screws, and a paper manual. It is exclusively for the Rover Elite 20 amp and 40 amp charge controllers and connects to their RS485 port. You will use the four key input to navigate the RMS RVRE. Use the up and down buttons to cycle through the screen. The left button to go back in setting mode and the right button to enter parameter setting mode. For the purpose of this video, we'll be connecting the RMS RVRE to an existing system consisting of a 100 watt solar panel, a 20 foot adapter kit, a 20 amp Rover Elite, and an 8 foot gauge tray cable connected to a 100 amp hour smart lithium battery. To get started, simply connect the included communication cable from the Rover Elite's RS485 port to the RS485 port located on the back of the RMS RVRE. The monitoring screen should then turn on after a quick restart logic on the controller. Once on, use the up button to navigate through the screen. It will display the main screen, solar panel voltage, charging current, battery voltage, accumulated kilowatt hour, ambient temperature, and error codes if any. Now let's set the battery type. On the battery voltage screen, press the right button until the screen flashes. Use the up or down arrow to select your battery. In this example, we will go to lithium. Tap the right button to confirm lithium and tap it again to manually confirm 12 volts. You will then need to set the boost voltage. For this battery, we'll select 14.4 volts. Long press the rightmost key when the boost voltage has been selected. You have now successfully set up your monitoring screen. The monitoring screen will be flush mounted. You will release the four snap fit joints and remove the front cover. Next, cut out a rectangular area and pre-drill four holes on the mounting surface using the monitoring screen as a template. Make sure to leave some space for the communication cable. Lastly, affix the monitoring screen on the mounting surface using the included screws for a flush mount finish and then reattach the front cover to the monitoring screen. We hope this video has helped you familiarize yourself with Renogy's monitoring screen for Rover Elite charge controllers. For any other questions regarding the unit, please give our support team a call or submit a ticket on support.renogy.com. You can find our contact information below. Thank you for purchase and have a wonderful day.